Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I wanna to talk to you about changing your steering wheel out. So we're gonna go from this mess, all of this steering wheel, horn, horn cap, and this old spring, right? To something a lot nicer, something that looks like this. So I have a 68 and 68, 67 is pretty much the same, but as I go through this, I'm gonna show you what tools you're gonna to need, uh, the part numbers and everything that I use to be able to get the steering wheel in. Um, it's a grand steering wheel. Now, a lot of people aren't fond of the grand steering wheels, but I was, you know, it got a, it's got a great classic look. It's something that I like. And, you know, I've seen that in some of the, a lot of the cars that I've seen that have been rebuilt, retro mods and whatnot, and I really liked it. So I went ahead and changed mine out. I'm gonna show you how to do it, uh, take off the steering wheel and whatnot, and, and uh, get that granite. in. Let's go through some of the tools that you're gonna to need to get the job done. Ratchet, and with this ratchet, you're gonna need a 15, 16 socket uh, to be able to get the nut off uh, to pull the steering wheel off. Now the nut is gonna sit on your steering wheel right here, okay? So after you get the nut off, then you're gonna have to pull the steering wheel off with a steering wheel puller. I got mine at Harbor Freight, Pittsburgh. Set. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the right bolts uh, that fits on your, on your steering wheel. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the center bolt, which is this guy, into here, there we go. You're going to use your, this little pin here. So here's your steering wheel puller, there's your pin. Once you get that on there, then you put your bolts on like this like this, and within the holes of your steering wheel, here and here, that's where these two bolts go. So they drill into there, so I can do this. There we go. So these two bolts go into the steering wheel. You have the big one that goes in the middle and as you crank this down, it pulls it, <clears throat> and it pulls it off of the steering column shaft. So that'll pop right off after you do that. Here again, you can see that. And then here's the bolts that go into the steering wheel. So once you get the steering wheel off, all that's left is the, uh, the cam, which does your turn signals. And uh, so let's jump in the car. Um, I'll take off the grand steering wheel so you can actually see what's in there. And then um, we'll kind of go over the parts in there. And then also look and see how we go ahead and get that grand steering wheel installed. When I got the steering wheel, you know, it was actually unfinished. It was just raw wood. Uh, so what I went ahead and did it is I sanded it down really nicely, um, just with some 250 grit. And then I went ahead and sprayed it with some varnish, some polyurethane uh, spray. Let that said, did about three coats, and uh, man, it came out nice. I really like the way it came out. Now, to get this to get this guy on, it's not actually very difficult. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do it backwards so we can see the disassembly, and then we'll go ahead and put it all back together. So here's the cap that I got. Now the cap, this is not the the cap that comes with the kits. It's an it's a secondary aftermarket cap because the original one that came with this um, just continuously fell off. You know, it didn't stick on. I think one of the tabs was broken on it, so it didn't really um, connect very well. So let me take this off for you. So what you do is you twist it on this one and it comes right off. Now, in here, on this cap, you can see where it has these um, indentions. There's three of them. Now those three indentions actually connect with the cap here. So there's one, two, and three right? And once you get them in, you twist it. So that way, when you twist it, 
it stays in place. So these basically kind of lock in here. Now, here's the uh, the assembly here to actually get the horn working. I didn't I didn't connect mine. Um, it is live right now. I haven't disconnected my battery. I know that's the first thing you want to do. Uh, but since it's not live, you know, these are the these are the um, two wires that are used for your horn. Now, most horns actually only have one because the whole column is grounded. But in this case, there's actually two wires. So you have a ground and you have um, your, your power. So uh, one goes on the back, one goes on the front like that. And then when the horn is depressed, this um, this plate makes contact with the bottom plate, and then that's when you actually get your uh, your horn to sound. So let's go ahead and take this apart, and uh, we'll see what's inside. Okay, let's take off this uh, this plate here. So I'm using a seven sixteenth socket uh, to take these these three off. screws don't lose those here's the top part of the uh, the assembly as you can see here the wires go through like so and you want to mount this so that way you have enough clearance for um, these wires to actually attach uh, to that guy I'm gonna take this one off as well and these wires go through this hole. There we go. So that's how this goes together. Just like the other one, the other steering wheel, this is what you have. So again, I'm using a 15 16 socket. And we'll turn this. There we go. So loosen that guy. There we go. I've already loosened this earlier. That comes off. Now on this one, we don't need the steering wheel puller because actually the only thing that's holding it on is, is, the, uh, is this nuts and the other three bolts. So, you know, it's, it's actually held on there pretty well. So after that, that's when this comes off, your steering wheel, and you're left with your column. <clears throat> now on the column with the kit, uh, the install kit, it comes with this guy here, this, uh, the cap, right? And it also comes with this guy. So I am gonna have to use the steering wheel puller for this just to get this off here. So again, we wanna make sure we have that on here. Then I found the correct bolts to go into the into that guy. So And sixteenths. There we go. So it doesn't take that much pressure, and it comes right off. So here's the uh, 
the assembly. Now this guy here um, has copper rings here that actually touch the, um, the horn uh, to engage the horn. So like before, when these two, when these two plates come in contact, that's when it engages the horn to, to complete the circuit. Now inside you have your cam uh, for your turn signals here. And um, you put left and as this goes through, it's supposed to disengage There we go, so that way, and then it disengages. So the opposite way as well, this turns and disengages your turn signal. So this guy here, actually the wires just go all the way down, go into the connector on the bottom. <clears throat> you will have to repin your old connector because the connector can't go through this, this shaft here. So you have to take off the old connector with a, with a pin extractor pull it out and this whole can just comes right out with uh, three screws, one, two, and three. So once you do that, the whole can comes out, you can replace that, put the new one in, uh, this comes off as well. Put the new cam in and then uh, then you should be set. Now there is a kind of a trick and actually I didn't do this correctly. When you put this guy in here, um, it's actually supposed to, like I said, it's supposed to be able to turn this to disengage the uh, turn signal. So when I when I first did it, I didn't do it correctly. So I'm gonna go ahead and test that out, make sure I do it correctly, and then once I do, then we'll come back together and finish up the install for the grand steering wheel. Okay, first things first, this guy goes in. Now, there's a little pin, like I showed you, to disengage the, the turn signal, that when it turns, it comes back. And on the back of this thing, there's a notch. I'll show you here for in a second here. So there's a notch right here, and that notch is actually sp supposed to accommodate this stick here. So when it goes on and you turn your you turn your steering wheel, it disengages and re <coughs> disengages the uh, the switch here. So let me put this back on here. There we go. So I went ahead and put them so that way they match up. So here's the groove and the stick just goes right there in the middle so that way when it turns it it works that way <clears throat> so after that it's just basically putting everything back together so let's get the steering wheel i'm sorry let's get this cap here put our wires through there we go same thing here this guy is going to go then I want to loosely put everything back on all these all three of these screws. So before we do that, we got to put the first cam on the bottom, right? That goes on the bottom. This one goes on top. Then we have to line up our holes.
Now, I'm not going to connect my horn, but we have, because I'm actually missing one of the horns in the front. It sounds awkward. It's just actually the, the high horn. So on these 6768s, and possibly earlier, the uh, they actually had two horns in the front, a low horn and a high horn. So I'm still missing mine. Once I get that installed, then I'll go ahead and attach this. So in the meantime, I went ahead and taped this off so that way we don't make contact with anything. And then we just put the cap back on. There we go. Installed. So we're back at the bench and I wanted to show you the uh, kit that I purchased so that way I can install this chair. Um, it's from Forever Sharp. And uh, the product number here for mine was B013B. And that came with the um, the cam inside, the big one that goes, that attaches to the, um, uh, the steering wheel, the two plates uh, that look like this, these two plates that came with that. <clears throat> it also came with three different bezels, um, or a couple different bezels to be able to fit your your steering column <clears throat> to be able to cover that up. And it comes with the spring. So once I go ahead and hook up the uh, the horns in, in the front, uh, I'll be able to put the cap back on and use this spring so that way it pulls, once it's connected to this ring here, It'll the spring will pull it up and so that way you can depress it and actually it can make contact with the uh, With the other one Another thing too is my horn cap didn't come with uh, a Mustang logo. So I went ahead and purchased some wheel center caps like this and uh, Attached them Here's the original cap that came with the kit um, I, I really like it. It's nice, but Again, you know, I think it didn't fit on the on the plate here. Uh, just for some reason, it just didn't stick right. Now, if this was used, so someone did put some epoxy on here, I think it was, just to be able to make it stick. I didn't really want to do that. I do like this, this cap, it's really nice. Um, but I just went ahead and went with the aftermarket one. Um, fit, that one fits snugly and uh, gets the job done. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in, uh, watching the video on the steering wheel. Um, I really appreciate you guys. Uh, go ahead and like and subscribe. Um, it helps out the channel a lot. And uh, leave a comment down below. See if, uh, what, tell me what you think about the Grand Steering Wheel. Uh, any problems that you guys have had installing that guy. And if this uh, video will help you guys out. So again, like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.